yo, back at you with another video, another fire video, hope all is going well man, everybody is happy, if not, it's going to get that way, because that's all we trying to have around here, is a happy aura, man, words, 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 the things we say, can be a powerful thing, or a deadly thing, like I know many of us have heard in the Bible before, the power of life and death is in the tongue. That's very true. What we say and the way we speak to things and the way, and the way we speak about things and situations is kind of how the outcome will be. You know, it's just like, okay, it's just like if you got a troubled marriage, instead of saying, Man, I'm tired of this. I can't take this no more. I'm ready to leave this man. I'm ready to leave this woman. They don't never do this. They don't never do that. He don't make enough. He don't make enough money. She don't help out. And you know, you ranting and raving, but it, but look, but just look at the way you're speaking about your situation. Instead of saying, "I thank God for my husband being faithful. I thank God for my wife being a helpmate. I thank God." For healing, for healing my spouse of their addiction. I thank God for, you know, my, my wife cleaning up more or, or whatever, whatever. Just the way you speak about it. You know what I'm saying? You being thankful for it changing instead of you sitting around murmuring about the problem it is. How much of a problem the situation is. You know, it, it could be anything. Instead of saying you broke. No, I'm not broke. I, I have a cash flow problem right now. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to say, oh, I'm balling. You don't have to lie, but it's, it's just the way you speak about your situation. Power of life and death is in the tongue. Job, you know what I'm saying? He, when, when he started losing his kids and his livestock, the thing I have feared most has fell upon me. Okay? Because it's the way he was looking at his situation. The thing he feared most has fell upon you. The power of life and death is in the tongue. The power of the thought the way you think about your situation affect your situation. You know what I'm saying? If you if you if you going into a situation and you going into a situation in a fearful way and having a fearful conscience about what you going into or what you attempted to do or the opportunity that you prepared to take, but you got a fearful you got a fearful thought or you go into that with a fearful demeanor, the outcome might not be very good for you. But you go into a situation or a job interview or to a new relationship on a date or whatever or meeting a new acquaintance or whatever or a new business partner you go in there with confidence you go in there believing that everything is going to work out good you know everything is going to be successful and everything will be all right it, it, it got a better chance of succeeding instead of going in it where oh, it's already down and you're not even in it yet how our life and death is in the tongue when we speak to people when we speak to our situation it's kind of how it be you know, so be more optimistic about your situations is what I'm learning, you know, to do. What I have learned to do. To, I have learned to do. You know, out of all the problems that me and my wife have had together, when we stopped talking about how bad our situation was or how bad, talking about each other bad in each other, and we started thanking God for that bad changing, man, that's when our marriage really started to turn around. You know? When we start, when I started speaking life to my son that was getting all that trouble in school and getting, getting kicked out of school and getting suspended, as a kindergartner, I got suspended one time. I started speaking life to him, son, you're not bad, man, son, you are not a problem child, son, you are intelligent, son, I believe in you, man, you are smart, you shouldn't be acting like that, man, you're too handsome for that. I thank God for you being the child that you're supposed to be, man, that boy turned Man, he turned his whole everything around at school. His grades, his focus, you know, his respect for his teacher, everything. You got to speak, man. I don't, man, really listen to how deep what I'm telling you. The power of life and death is in that tongue right there. You got to speak life to your situation. You got to speak life to your vision. You got to speak life to your goals. Why in Sam Hill, excuse my language, I'm working on my profanity, by the way, y'all. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm just wrong. Like, you know, I don't mean to curse or 
Some people may say it's ghetto or whatever you may say, but I'm just me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You're rocking with me, you're rocking with me. But why is Sam Hill, would anyone write down a vision or write down goals but have doubt about it? Like, do you hear how crazy that sound? Man, I, I got a vision. I got a vision to have my own business. I want a nice house. I want a wife. I want kids. If I want all my kids to have their PhDs, whatever, whatever your visions and goals may be. But I don't know if it. I don't know if I can get that big of a house. Man, my kid is terrible. I don't know if they're gonna make it to college. Like, okay, don't write down the vision. Don't have a goal if you don't doubt it. Power of life and death is in the tongue. What you speak and what you believe is what you're gonna achieve. What you're gonna have. If you want a good life, you need to speak that thing and go after it. Like, I, like me and my wife said in our video, stop hesitating. Stop speaking bad things to your kids. Stop speaking about bad. Stop speaking in bad ways about your spouse. Stop speaking in bad ways to your spouse. Speak life. Stop speaking death. You wonder why? You wonder why ain't nothing changing? Because the way you speaking to it or about it. Or to them or about them. Speak life. Speak life. Just try that. Like, subscribe, y'all. You know, help me spread this thing, y'all. Like, subscribe. I really appreciate any comments, the feedback. And man, y'all just speak life. Like, like right now. So it can start right now, y'all. Every bad situation in your life, look at it in a good way. Just just try it. Try it. Every bad situation going on. Your relationship. You ain't got to be married. If you're in a relationship, anything, start looking at it in a positive way. Start looking at it in a positive way. If you just got home and your wife ain't cleaned up, she's been at home all day, and you see that you coming in there complaining and flying off the handle ain't working, come in there thinking, God, for coming home to a clean house. It's going to change for you, brother. Woman, if you've been working all day and you get home and your man is sitting there playing the video game or he out running the streets, ain't did nothing at the house, ain't made the bed, nothing. Speak life to it. Thank God for your husband being a teammate. Because, man, don't get it twisted. If you ain't working and that woman working, uh, you ain't above mopping them floors, washing them dishes, and creating a clean, a clean house for that woman to come home to. Woman, that man working, and you ain't got no job, or you get off early, you ain't above, just because you know you had the kids and you tired, you got a job too. You ain't above getting that house straight, it's teamwork. Speak life. Look, look positive at your situation. Look positive at things. Stop the negativity. That's what we're trying to get rid of y'all, rid of y'all, and slowly we're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to be the first step at what I want to see happen. I can't I can't talk about I want to see positivity and I ain't out here trying to, you know, promote it. And really doing it from the heart, from a sincere place, not just trying to sound good. That's why I told y'all I'm too raw. Like I'm too raw with 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 I'm just real. I give it I say it like it is. I ain't got a lot of nursery rhymes and stuff for you. I come to speak life to y'all. I come to bring positivity to you. We, we, we come to get away, we come to get rid of tears, frowns, letdowns, and disappointments, and bring in smiles, joy, prosperity, and success. But I love y'all. Bless up.